start recording okay so right now we're gonna discuss simple simple thing you know how to draw things in sketcher you have the ability to create any three-dimensional object now you want to move you can merge different parts together you can move them rotate them and that's it for all that we need really like don't worry about anything else there's there's the advanced workflow which is assembly assembly means automatically constraining like put this put this bolt into this hole or just align these two edges or whatever and I'm just making a case well cool that's great don't worry about it because when you build you're actually translating and moving things around by hand well, so you definitely like physically correspondence uh, I'm not sure. what, you can move you things you can put things into place and that's how you build things well that is simulated in CAD because you can move translate XYZ direction and rotate well, around XYZ yeah, axes within um, FreeCAD and that, that corresponds to reality so it's good to think like that and the thing that does it within FreeCAD it's called the draft workbench um, draft workbench so let's maybe open that up and go through it draft workbench the two things you need to know is the two main features of that is move and rotate now if I can open up my free CAD. Um, okay, there it is. Uh, so open up. Yeah, and I, I'll share my. Um, oh yeah. No, uh, I actually just just take a look at uh, look at through through the Jitsi Meet. I'm gonna share my screen. So uh, take a look at my screen. What I'm doing there. Now. Um, this screen right here. Where's my free cab? Let me move that back in. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. So free cab. How did I? It's a little off. Where's my? Yeah. <coughs> trying to get that in to fit the window. Okay, workbenches are there. There's draft. So in FreeCAD, typically all I ever do is part design and draft. I do a bunch in part too, but uh, part design and draft are the most critical for the OSE workflow. So here you open up a new document and you can, if you, assuming you have some objects, the objects you generate in part design, so we can Try to follow it. Actually, just do it as as I'm doing it. Create a sketch and and part. Do an object. Close. Extrude it. Bam. Okay. Go back into part design. Uh, go back into draft. Now we've got an object. Uh, so you can translate and rotate. So this is you're just rotating in a view view window, right? Uh, but now, how do you actually rotate it within uh, for real? You know, so you can do your mouse buttons to move to to translate, zoom in, rotate. Um, so there's two things that you need to know, and and that is three things. One, you got to get into one plane, and you got to tell the computer that you're in that plane. That's part two. And the third part is you hit that button that says either translate and rotate. Okay. So if you look at my screen, uh, I'm I'm here, and then. I use the buttons one through six. One. I hit one just now. And that gets me into the YZ plane. But the thing is, what you're going to get tripped up on is if you're not in a single plane, you're going to rotate and you don't know exactly how you rotate it. So it's kind of it's frustrating. So you want to know where you want to rotate. And it's and this is Cartesian. This is like pretty square. Uh, engineers, <laughs> like, like engineers, you know, let's say we're square here. Uh, but that means you know what you're doing, and you're on top of it. You're in control of the world, man. But be in a plane. If you're in a plane, you know what you're doing. You actually know that you're rotating within that plane. So, but you have to tell it. So there's a button up there. It says that button right there, uh, which says, I don't even know what it's set. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Set, unset a working plane. What we do there is you have to hit view because I'm already viewing it in that particular window, right? 
so hit view if you do that now you're able to rotate it and move it in that plane without getting some weird result so the two buttons you're concerned about is this one for moves the selected object between two points and then this one which says rotates the selected objects that's it so if I want to move it click on a move and just uh, click on an object and then you move it oh yeah and then it's set so a little detail here so if you move it I, there was a checkbox that said copy so you see that there's a copy checkbox if you want to move and make a copy that's what I just did without the copy I'm gonna take this thing and move it over a little bit uh, so you gotta press move that move that thing well, if I ever get out of the plane like I by mistake did something there I gotta close that and then go back to the plane then I'm gonna hit hit I'm already in that plane the specific plane that I selected before so I should be okay so if I hit move there and it moves it and then you after your trade you say yeah it moved it it moved it exactly in that plane that works good okay now let's rotate so I'm gonna hit one again for that particular plane I'm gonna hit the rotate button so there you have to grab a handle uh, anywhere you can you know there one point and then move it to another point wherever you want but that just sets the handle around which you're rotating so I clicked once well click once and then you can see it rotate and but what I do typically since you can't really do like 90 degrees by hand just just as long as you're in a rotate thing just go into this box here and say 90 typically you rotate around like 90s or whatever so 90 and there it goes it rotated that so I just did that and that's the entire workflow make sure you select one view view angle so one two that's two three puts it this in this in this other plane that's three right there four five six so those are the shortcuts one through six you can go so if you want to rotate <clears throat> around this XZ plane right now yes if you want to rotate this is kind of hard to rotate there because you can rotate in uh, you know the X Y plane and I just found out that a freewheeling mouse okay good I have selection but on a freely okay if you use a freewheeling mouse this is what happens if you scroll it just keeps going <laughs> forever so don't use freewheeling mode now here's another trick I just lost it where is it ah so you go back into view standard views fit all and it does does this so if you lost your image somewhere go into view standard view fit all because that will happen to you many times you lose it uh, so use a non freewheeling mouse and do this so you can like for example this just to give you another example so I selected a different plane right so I gotta go back to here sometimes I don't get that window to show up so if you don't get it to show up just click just click anywhere on a blue screen but I did get it to show up so I, once again I select view so I'm gonna rotate that within the view plane so here I wanted to move this one that we're looking from the top down on so you only see it as a square it's in the XY plane but I wanna move it so you wanna select what you wanna move there because without selecting anything it still allows you to move stuff but you don't know what you're moving so maybe I can select it right there so either select uh, the object and then click the move arrow or just click the move arrow and then select the object uh, so I want to move this top looking from the top down so I'm just gonna go do that click it and it moves and it should better move in the XY plane did it yeah I mean I moved it moved it a little bit but let's let's uh, so that was shortcut two for this XY plane I'm gonna rotate it so I know I'm still in that 
in that plane there. But just if I, if I, in case I lost it, you might want to click view again in case you hit something else and you lost that plane. But I'm in that plane, so I'm going to hit rotate. I'm going to. You can grab a corner. You can grab anywhere, depending where you grab is how you rotate. So I'm going to rotate around this handle. And there you go. So I'm going to go into the the window here. I'm going to move it. 45 though that's we don't have any 45s we only have 90s in the entire house pretty much uh, except for some little things but yeah that rotated if you if you see from the top that's how it rotated it right so that's it um, quick review uh, select the plane we'll first get into a plane um, now uh, let's just show what happens when you're not in the plane just so you, you kind of know so we're here uh, I didn't select anything for where to move around uh, so it's in some plane it's probably the plane I selected last so but I'm gonna see what happens so I'm gonna click on this object by double clicking on it I'm gonna rotate on it so where is my handle gonna appear yeah I think what's happening right now it's still rotating in the last plane that I selected but it's kinda weird like I can't really see it so just be in a single plane and therefore you kinda know exactly where you're rotating to and here you can still select the angles but if I so let's say I select 90 yeah it does work but it's just a little harder to see where you're where you're moving things um, so that's about it uh, for that select one plane select um, under that that window is called set working plane so do exactly what that says view and then click your object then do things like rotate now there you see yeah I just selected that can you select a couple objects to rotate at the same time I'm sure you can um, so let's rotate two of them yeah I mean see it, it rotates both objects. So yeah, you can select multiple objects too. I typically just rotate one object in the normal workflows. But yeah, you know, that's it for the... So now you can translate and rotate things. And with that, uh, you can do like... For example, Prince has a pile of materials just all in a clump. You can select one by one, move them and rotate them. Okay, so I'll quick quit here. Any questions on that? Is that pretty clear? Or How do you create a new block again? Uh, a new block you have to go back to part design and then click on your new sketch and then wherever so uh, that was the block I s did before I'm gonna make this hexagon thing and then make a pad out of that real quick that's your that's your freak at 101 lesson drawing features and features on these features so there you go and you can work with that any other questions Sounds good. Yeah, it's it's pretty basic, but that's if you know the workflow of just rotating and moving things. That's I mean you can do ju just about anything. All the designs like the tractor, the universal axes, all that we have is doable and ha and actually pretty much has been done just with those two workflows.